What's up guys, Harshal here. This video tells us the difference between Ctrl C and Ctrl Z which are probably used in Linux to stop the working processes or to terminate the process. So if you are new to the channel, do check out my previous videos on basics of Linux and commands. I hope you will like it. So let's get started. So firstly, let's talk about what exactly Ctrl C and Ctrl Z do behind the scene. Ctrl Z behind the scene stops the working process in background which you or any user has started whereas Ctrl C totally terminates the working process to free up the memory in RAM that is being used by other programs. So let's take an example of Firefox. You can take any other example also if you wish to. So you can see the Firefox command is executed perfectly. So now let's switch to terminal where I'll show you how Ctrl C and Ctrl Z concept works. So now you can see in the terminal, the terminal is not prompting me any input so that I could give any so that I can give any input and it could execute the command. So let's type as ls or you can type cd desktop. You can see you won't get any output. Why you don't get any output is that Firefox command is still running in the background and you can you know you can navigate to anything you want if you want YouTube you can navigate to YouTube as well okay so that's the reason why this command fails to run okay so you know there's a trick in Linux where you can you can type this multiple commands as well and you can run Firefox also in the background I will tell you how it comes but that's the different part. First, I'll show you how Control C or Control Z works in this scenario. For firstly, I'll tell you how Control Z works. If you type Control Z here in the terminal, you will find three options here. You will see there's a one, there's a stopped, and there's a Firefox. What this output tells you is, you can say basically it is a code execution number which is one, and that number is given to Firefox and the process Firefox has been stopped as you press Ctrl Z alright so here the concept Ctrl Z tells you that process what you run gets stopped in the background you can see the in the background the process is stopped alright but it is not terminated check out the wordings what I'm telling you the process is not been terminated it is still working in the background if you want to check for NS as well, NS is you know for networking. So netstat is the command for NS. So NS and if you hit enter, NS terminal will tell you to prompt its commands what all NS commands work basically. So if you press again control Z, you will see there is a code execution number which is called which is for me here it is 2. It might be anything for you. All right, and this number tells you that there is a second process running which is been stopped by the user and the process name is NS okay by using the command control Z so this is the control Z concept where wherein the process what you run gets stopped in the background but it is still running in the background you can see the example you can see the example of Firefox here okay Say similarly for NS also you can see for NS you don't have an interface so I won't able to show you how it uh, how it is there in the background but it is there in the background and it is using the memory of the RAM for now if you clear the screen and if you want to check that the program is stopped so how should I terminate so there is a way to terminate the program you can terminate by terminate it by using the GUI that is a cross arrow button okay force quit or there is a different way to quit the program using the terminal as well so now if you find that Firefox is running or not so for that you have to check what all processes you, uh, is running on your system and it is being stopped by you or it is being stopped by someone there is a command called jobs this command jobs helps you show all the processes which are being stopped by a user or which has been stopped by anyone using the control Z command okay so if you hit enter you will see the Firefox command which we which we have executed previously was killed 
using the interface cross button and the command ns which you have run is still stopped in the background and still it is using the ram okay so so if you want to you know terminate the program ns or terminate the process ns which is running in the background which is stopped you have to use the command fg the abbreviation of the fg fg here is foreground as you can see as you run firefox and you press ctrl z the firefox process stops but still it is running in the background you have seen the interface previously same bg is called as background similarly fg is called as foreground so as you type fg and you have to type space and then you have to type the code execution number which whichever the program is stopped for you and you want to start it again and then you want to terminate it again so this is the process use fg space the code execution number it, that is 2 for ns so if you hit enter the process ns will again start and you can you know you can type what all commands ns uh, supports for the execution that are programs you can type there and now if you want to terminate the program use control c control c which helps you terminate the program and now if you type jobs you won't find ns see you won't find ns nor you will find firefox because the program has been terminated and there is no memory or there is no allocation of the memory in the ram which has been used by ns you know so the ram is totally free let me show you control c concept using firefox so let me run firefox again yeah so the firefox has been executed successfully and now if you type control c the the interface behind the behind the terminal of the firefox get exited okay get exit using the control c commands you can see okay but you won't find now if you type jobs you won't find any process running behind the scene behind the background or you can say okay so this is the concept of control c and control z so now i'll tell you how to you know run these commands as firefox or ns where where you uh, where you start running you don't find any prompt in the terminal to execute other commands so what all what commands you have to type to get it work is type see uh, if you want to type other commands as lscd after the firefox command and you want to run firefox at the same time and you want to you know you want to execute the ls command uh, both at the same time so how you have to do is use firefox you have to use firefox space and and symbol to and if you hit enter you know the process of firefox started but you can you know you get a prompting window from the terminal that they are able to accept commands what all you type as ls you know you can uh, as pwd pwd any command you can type all right so the firefox has been started and it is in the running state now now if you type jobs here you will find that the firefox is in the running state it is not in the stop state if you're getting the difference between the stop state and the running state stop states when it is stopped when you are using control z it is stopped in the background but it is still working it is not the program is not terminated and it is using the memory of the ram but here you can here you have multi multiple options you can do any of the stuff you want as ls pwd who am i anything you can do you will get the perfect output and you will get the prompting command as well prompting window as well from the terminal and the firefox is still working it is in the running state you can do, you can do any of the stuff you want it, it will perfectly work okay and fun and now if you want to stop the process of firefox which is running which is in the running state through the command terminal so again same command use jobs and use foreground space what is the code execution number one type one hit enter and then press ctrl c so this will this will clear the running state in the jobs okay and now if you type jobs you won't find any running state or you won't find any stop state in the jobs all right so this is the basic difference between ctrl c and ctrl z i hope you all guys are clear with it if you face any problem with this concept again do comment down in the comment section i'll definitely help you out and if you're loving the content if you're loving the knowledge what i'm sharing with you please hit the like button and subscribe for more content thank you